So today, guys, we're going to start off with the gun runner. But first, you need to find the snitch, which I usually find in this general area right here. I fast travel here. I go into this small room right here. And, well, once you find him, then she'll give her location. You can see it's right here. So let's head there now. And then once you find a location, you can find out what she has for the week. So let's dive into it. So the first item she has is the Glory Days, which you might have noticed. It's the same item that you can guys can get over at the Countdown Vendor. Assault Rifle, Health Damage, Swap Speed, Perfect Near Sighted. And Battery Pack, which comes Skill Tier, Skill Damage, Health, and Perfect Calculator. You can put Skill Haste on there, so if you guys have been looking for that. Well, there you go. She also has a Shield Splinter with Assault Rifle, Health Damage, and then you can put Damage Targets out of cover. Some pretty decent rolls, so something I would... I think most of you guys would probably pick up if you don't have one by now and then it has a hunter killer with armor skill damage health perfect intimidate i probably pass on this one very bad rolled um unless there's something you're trying to create with this but yeah those are the rolls for the green pieces they have the true patriot backpack with armor and armor regen they have a hardwired chest piece with skill tier armor regen you just put skill damage on there they have negotiators dilemma gloves with weapon damage and you can put crit chance crit damage they have ongoing directive knee pads with weapon damage and health. They have striker knee pads with maxed out crit chance. Sorry, not knee pads. Striker holster with maxed out crit chance. So then you can change that top piece for weapon damage, um, maxed out armor, whatever you guys want. So if you guys don't have one, been looking for one that's maxed out, you can grab this. Also, if you need that 6% crit hit chance roll, then I would grab that. A cavalier mask with armor, and then you can put hazard protection right there. We'll go down to the weapons. They have an MG5 LMG damage targets out of cover you with damage to armor on there. And then it has in sync. So if you kind of want to create an in sync version of an of a MG5 build, hey, that might work, but the other rolls are still pretty low. An ACS 12 with shotgun damage, max out damage to armor, has in sync on there and has a rate of fire. So that allows you to swap out that rate of fire for whatever you want. Leave in sync if you're running some type of um striker drone with it. Um, this could be a definitely a good pickup for a few of you guys. I've um, been looking for ACLs, don't have the rock and roll. And then you also, if you need that 12% damage to armor, you can take that and then throw it into your library. We go down the Alp Summits, gloves, skill tier, crit damage, and then armor region. And then they have the Fenris knee pads, weapon damage, status effect, explosive resistance. For the mods, they have a repair skills mod, 17.4%, and then a 5.3% skill haste uh, mod. Overall, just the rolls probably for me, if I was a new returning player, I'd probably just pick up the max out damage to armor and then I'd pick up this striker holster. But besides that, nothing really was like, wow, I really need this. Remember to seal the to see this shield splinter, you need to complete the 12 hunters in DC. And to see the hunter killer, you need to complete the 13 hunters in New York City. And every week she'll have a new one for sale. And then hopefully if you didn't really get one out of the box you get as a reward for completing the hunters, then you guys can um, get a better one here. So that is it, guys. I am going to be wrapping up the video here. Hey, I appreciate the support. appreciate the love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills out.